Hi, my name is Kelsey Rochelle. I am a small business owner and I am the Praxis Afterglow and Social Director. So I was born here in Redlands. I grew up in Indonesia though. 2012, I decided to come to America. I pretty much came here alone. Something had happened to a family member of mine. By the grace of God, I found a place to stay and I actually lived there for three years. And then finally, I decided, okay, I think I can actually go to college. Literally, sometimes I would only have like $10. And I'm like, okay, I need to get gas for my car. That's like $10. So what's breakfast, lunch, dinner for tomorrow? Long story short, um, I started my business because I was kind of getting tired of working nine to five and then five to nine and then like a part time somewhere else. Thank God my business went so well. And within four months, I was making three times the amount of money that I was making full time. A year later, I started having my office and then I started another business. And now that's what I do. And I got my own place. A lot of people just praying for me helping me out with like life struggles financially. Adventism is a big part of my life. But searching for church, I've been to like just different churches and I just never felt like home in any of them. And I have been hurt by so many churches. People knew how much <laughs> I hated the church community because I was just like, this is not the way it should be and I don't like this. So I'm like, I'm gonna just stop going to church. So I stopped going to church for three years. So I was just scrolling through Instagram one day and they posted, um, Praxis posted, last call on the life group, sign ups, click the link, read it. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And I signed up to the life group with Fifi, Derek and Shion about the mental health. And I kind of needed that at that time. I signed up and yeah, that's how I found Praxis. People expect church to be this perfect, everybody, is like sinless. Everybody here is so like messed up. That's why they go to church because they want to be healed. They want to be loved. They want second chance. They want something. They want to be part of something. Church has definitely given me a whole new perspective of like friendship and relationships with people and with God. I got baptized this year um, and that was crazy. And I'm very excited because that's a really big step um, for me. I would hope one day I can bring people closer to God. I wanna bring people that had a bad experience with church and stopped going to church or hated church or hated God like how I did. And I'm hoping that I can bring them to church by the little events that we have at church. Kelly actually offered me to help out with decorating and the afterglow stuff and helping out with the whole event coordinating. So I was just like, oh my gosh, this is literally perfect because this is like my way to actually be involved rather than just going to church and going home. When you just have food on the table, people take pictures like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. You can feel someone else's joy and that gives me joy. And being able to do that for the church, just I'm happy that I'm able to do that. God loves me and there's a community out there that actually wants me. There's a community that actually would help me that would welcome me. I want people to experience that and hopefully they will feel the same way or even better than what I experienced, so.